Day three on the Foothills Trail. Uh, we slept by this river. I think it may be the Toxalay River. Uh, we've got around 16 to do today. Uh, the first thing that we're going to come across in a little bit is the Heartbreak Ridge. So maybe it doesn't break our heart too much. We'll see. We're going up this ridge and right through the trees you can see Lake Joe Cassie uh, but we think we think we've already started going up the heartbreak ridge but we gotta go we still gotta go up a good bit more so we'll see how that goes we just got done climbing up heartbreak ridge and now we gotta go straight down it into I don't remember what it's called, but I think there's like a boat ramp or something on there, the lake. But... Going across this, going going across this uh, uh, suspension bridge above this river. Not sure what river this is. Shot of the river. And we are going left, 48 miles to Oconee. And we've got to, we're going to stop just a little short of Whitewater Falls. Um, so about 16 miles. Across another big suspension bridge. This is the longest bridge we've crossed. Uh, we're going across the Toxaway River on this really big suspension bridge. Thank you. Man, look at that. That's pretty. Look at that. That's awesome. It's a view of the river. We made it to Horse Pasture River. That is a little tough getting here too. A lot of ups and downs. But we made it. Oh! Yeah. head to Sloan Bridge. We're getting started early this morning. Hopefully beat the heat and when we get to Sloan Bridge, if we want to go a little further after that, we can. Um, we met an awesome guy in camp last night that works with uh, the Foothills Trail Organization. He actually asked us what kind of food we would want to eat tonight for supper when we got to Sloan Bridge. And we both said McDonald's. I know, weird pink slime, but it's what we wanted. So we're supposed to have, ooh, slicky mud. We're supposed to have McDonald's waiting on us at Sloan Bridge when we get there. Um, yesterday we had a, a tough day. We were planning on doing 17 miles, but that just didn't happen because somebody's old lady knees were just excruciating. 
They're hurting pretty bad this morning, but we're, we're only 37 miles to the finish. If we can knock 13.7 out today, we've been told that we can do 22, 23 miles on Tuesday with no problem, that it should be easy because the terrain's flat. It's pretty, there's a lot to look at. Um, but we'll, we'll see in a little while. Uh, we'll probably when we get up to Whitewater Falls about eight miles in. Well, we finished our 16.1 mile section. Uh, that section was pretty tough, a lot of, a lot of ups and downs, uh, a lot of climbing up old logging roads like straight up, but it was tough. Lots of roots and rocks. Lots of roots and rocks. Yeah. A lot of people think this trail is pretty easy, but it's a lot harder than most people think. But we're on the 2.3 mile section going up to uh, Upper Whitewater Falls. And we're going to take a break there and eat some lunch. Then that'll leave us a little, about five miles till we get to uh, Stone Bridge, Highway 107. And uh, hopefully we'll have some McDonald's waiting for us when we get there. So that's what's motivating us right now is McDonald's and a nap. We are at the base of Whitewater Falls. We gotta go to the top of that. a little bit. There's not many more rocks left. Well, we made it to North Carolina 281 where we had to get off the trail due to Kim blowing out her knee. Her knee was swollen the size of a, of a baseball. But we had fun while we were out here. Um, we made it about 48 miles, which leaves us around 28 left, which we plan on going back in the beginning of November and finishing it. 
So we look forward to it and we had a, had a lot of fun. Thank you.